y'all, Lauren Ann here today with a Friday Reads, and I actually have three books today, kind of, well, you'll see. So for those of you who don't know, hashtag Friday Reads was brought over from Twitter to YouTube via Bunny Cates, who is linked in the doobly-doo. Without further ado, the first book I'm going to be reading this weekend is my actual book, and it is The City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, and it is the first in the Mortal Instruments series. I have never read City of Bones, ever. I'm kind of almost ashamed to say that because so many of my fellow booktubers are big City of Bones fans. I was actually recommended the City of Bones in sixth grade, but I never read it, and the reason I didn't read it is kind of silly, but City of Bones was right next to Twilight in sixth grade, and Twilight in sixth grade, at least in my school, it was that one book that everybody felt like they shouldn't read, but read anyways, and everybody was reading it. This one was right next to Breaking Dawn, and Breaking Dawn in sixth grade was like a Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm gonna be honest, the man on the cover who was shirtless kind of pointed me in the wrong direction and kind of made me think that this book was gonna be kind of a Breaking Dawn-esque. I don't know why I thought this, but my sixth grade mind somehow processed that. So my next two, they're not exactly books, they're more magazines, but I still wanted to show them to you guys because I'm really excited about these. And the first one is the Time Magazine, um, detailing Pope Francis and his life and his career. And then the next one is the Life Magazine, also about Pope Francis, detailing um, the vigor of Christ from St. Peter to today. For those of you who don't know, I am a pretty devout Catholic. I'm a passionate Catholic. I love Catholicism and it is awesome in my life. I'm really excited about Pope Francis. These are just, they're, they look like such beautiful magazines. This one details more of a timeline of the papacy from Peter to today and it's just beautiful. The pictures in this are absolutely gorgeous. And then on the back, it has Pope Francis when he was a young man. Probably, I'm gonna guess, 20, probably in his 20s, early 30s maybe. This one is more of a detailed story about Pope Francis' life, and I'm really just ecstatic about these. I cannot wait to learn more about His Holiness Pope Francis. He just seems like such a humble man. I mean, the name he took, Francis, is one of the most beloved saints. Jocelyn, I promised you I would send you a shout out since you are feeling badly. I'm sorry. Bye guys, I will see you Sunday or Tuesday. I was an innocent little sixth grader and I didn't want my mind poisoned. No, I don't know, nerd. I can't help it. Can't help it. Don't blame me. Okay, I can't control it. I can't control it. Pope Francis. I'm so excited. I'm fangirling over the pool.